So may I present to you the Commodore 64 Ultimate. Oh my goodness, this brings me back. I had one of these, not this one in particular, but in probably 1984, 83, 84, I had a Commodore 64. I had the floppy drive. I had it all. Used to program on this, actually, and play one game in particular I still remember, Mission Impossible. Remember, if you enjoy my content, you can throw me a thanks and do everything that's up here. Like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and comment. Boy, how fast decades just fly by. So let's dive into this and find out what it's all about. So to recreate the Commodore 64 chipset, what they've done here is thrown in an AMD RTX 7 FPGA. It includes 128 megabytes of DDR2 RAM and 16 megabytes of flash storage. And apparently it is 100, not quite, 99% <laughs> compatible with all the classic titles and peripherals. And it features a whole bunch of stuff, HDMI, analog video, USB-A 2.0, USB-C, a 3.5 millimeter audio jack, optical as well, ethernet, a Wi-Fi, micro SD, joystick ports, and cassette disc drive connectors. And apparently it comes with a 64 gigabyte USB stick preloaded with 50 plus license games. Now the standard version of this will cost $299 US. There's a Starlight model of this. That one is $349 with a transparent case and RGB lights. And a Founders Edition for $499 with transparent amber. And get this, 24K gold accents. And all of these models have a 66 key mechanical keyboard. Now the switches, oh boy, the switches are these Gateron Pro 3.0 ones. Now what do you think about this? Do you think it's awesome or maybe you just think it's absolutely ridiculous? Commodore 64, let it go, it's in the past. Why would you want to play those old games now? Well, actually, a lot of retro games are coming back. They're making an appearance, like for example, on portable units like the Steam Deck. People are still playing and still loving old retro stuff like this and certainly playing retro games. 